Hello everyone, welcome to the Needle Magic. In today's tutorial, we'll be making these beautiful earrings. So, in today's tutorial, we are going to make these earrings. So, let's start. For this project, we'll need yarn, a crochet hook, scissors, and either you can use these kind of loops or you can even use studs. So, let's begin. So, I'll be using three different colors. You can even make them with one single color. So let's begin. We're taking our first color and we'll make a slip knot. सबसे पहले हम एक slip knot बनाएंगे. आप इसे single colors भी बना सकते हैं और चाहे तो ऐसे three colors use करके भी बना सकते हैं. Now we'll chain 15. तो हमें 15 chains बनानी है. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we have to make a slip stitch onto the first chain that we made, which will form a ring. So, we have the first chain we made, we will slip stitch it, so we will have a ring ready. So, we will go into the first chain that we made and we will do a slip stitch. Now, chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and this counts as our first double crochet stitch. So, this will count our double crochet stitch. Ki count karega. We need a total of 15 double crochet stitches by the end of the round. So, we total 15 double crochet stitches. So, one chain 3 is our double crochet stitch. Ho gaya. So, the stitch where we did the slip stitch and from where we have this chain 3, we will not be crocheting into that stitch. We will be crocheting into the next stitch. Ne the next chain, I mean. So we'll go into the next chain and make a double crochet stitch. So next chain we will make double crochet stitch. Banayenge. Then we'll go into the next chain, make another double crochet stitch. So yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your needle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have a total of three double crochet stitches. So this is the fourth one. Four. One in the next. Fifth then 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, and the last one, 15. So here we have 15 double crochet stitches. Now we'll slip stitch onto the third chain. At the beginning we made three chains. So and the on the Third chain, the topmost chain, we'll slip stitch and join. So, जो तीसरी chain हमने बनाई थी, top वाली, उस पे slip stitch करके इसे join कर देंगे. Now, chain one and slip stitch in the same stitch where we just joined. So, just go in and slip stitch. Then, chain one, slip stitch in the next stitch. Next stitch पे slip stitch करेंगे. Then, again, chain one. Slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 1, 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 slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 1 and we have to do this all around until we reach the beginning. So slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 1, slip stitch in the next stitch chain one 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 then here slip stitch in the next stitch chain one and slip stitch on to the chain one 
दैट वी डिड एट द बिगनिंग तो जो बिगनिंग में हमने चेन वन किया था उससे स्लिप स्टिच करेंगे चेन वन एंड फास्टन ऑफ तो चाहे आप एक कलर यूज़ कर रहे हैं या चाहे आप तीन कलर्स यूज़ कर रहे हैं इस टाइम पे फास्टन ऑफ करना है सो वेदर यू आर यूजिंग वन कलर और यू आर यूजिंग थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स यू हैव टू फास्टन ऑफ एट दिस पॉइंट सो हियर आर वन राउंड इज रेडी नाउ वॉट I'll do is I'll just make couple of knots here and cut the excess yarn. But you can even use a tapestry needle and weave in these ends. So you can even do it with tapestry needle. Ki madad se, ya fir is tarikke se knot laga ke extra yarn ko cut bhi kar sakte. So like we made this circle, we need to make two more in a different way. So what is the different way? We have to. Add in our foundation chain in between the circle, and then we have to do the exact same thing that we did with this circle. So I'll show you what to do. So we'll take our next color, or if you're using the same color, you can use the same color. So we'll make a slip knot. Slip knot बनाएंगे. Chain 15, like we did earlier. तो जैसे हमने पहले 15 chains बनाई थी, वैसे 15 chains बनाएंगे. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. अब join करने से पहले हम इस foundation chain को इस space में डालेंगे. So before joining, we'll put our foundation chain in this space, and then we'll join by making a slip stitch onto the first chain that we made. तो हमने बीच में डाल दी अब हम ये फर्स्ट चेन पे स्लिप स्टिच करके इसे जॉइन कर लेंगे नाउ वी हैव टू रिपीट द पैटर्न सो वील चेन थ्री एंड दिस काउंट्स एज आर फर्स्ट डबल क्रोशा स्टिच ये हमारा पहला डबल क्रोशा स्टिच की तरह काउंट होगा वी नीड टू मेक फोर्टीन मोर सो दिस इज वन वील गो इन टू द नेक्स्ट चेन मेक द सेकेंड डबल क्रोशा स्टिच देन इन द नेक्स्ट चेन वील मेक आर थर्ड डबल क्रोशा स्टिच इन द नेक्स्ट We'll make our fourth double crochet stitch, and we'll continue making double crochet stitches until we have a total of fifteen double crochet stitches. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now slip stitch onto the topmost chain of the chain three that we did at the beginning, and we'll join them. This is the topmost chain of the chain three. Just slip stitch, and it's done. Now chain one, and slip stitch in the same stitch, same chain where we did the slip stitch. Chain one, slip stitch onto the next stitch. Chain one, slip stitch on to the next stitch. Chain one, slip stitch on to the next stitch. Chain one, slip stitch on to the next stitch. Chain one, and you can just rotate it so that it's easy for you to work. Then again, slip stitch on to the next stitch. Chain one, slip stitch on to the next stitch. Chain one, and we have to repeat this pattern until we complete our round. So slip stitch. Chain one, then again slip stitch, chain one, 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 and this is the last slip stitch. 
chain 1 and slip stitch on to the chain 1 that we did at the beginning of our round chain 1 and fasten off then again you have an option to use your tapestry needle and weave in your ends or you can just make a couple of knots and cut the extra yarn so now you can cut the yarn from this way or you can cut the yarn from the tapestry needle ki madad se bhi weave in kar sakte. Now we'll take our third color. Now we'll take our third color. And we'll make a slip knot. Slip knot. Banayenge. And we'll chain 15. So just like we made before. We'll chain 15 chains. Banayenge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we have 15 chains. Now, we need to put our foundation chain in between both the circles. So, we have to make sure that we are putting our foundation chain in the space of both the circles. So, here you can see this is our first circle. So, we will put it in our first circle. And then here we'll put it in our second circle as well. And then we'll slip stitch and join. So slip stitch onto the first chain that we made and join. So here now this color is in between both the circles. Now we have to repeat our pattern chain 3 which is our first double crochet stitch. So one double crochet stitch into the next stitch. So this is the second double crochet stitch. One in the next. So this is the third double crochet stitch. In the next four. Then five. Six. Seven. And you can rotate it so that it's easier to work. And I've lost my count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now slip stitch onto the topmost chain of the chain 3. So the topmost chain is we slip stitch. Kar now chain 1, slip stitch in the same space where you did the slip stitch. Chain 1, slip stitch onto the next 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 stitch. Chain 1. Slip stitch onto the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch onto the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one, and slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one slip stitch to the next stitch chain one and this is the last stitch over here slip stitch chain one and slip stitch onto the chain one that we made at the beginning of the round then chain one and fasten off and 
and then again I'll be tying two knots and then I'll cut the extra yarn from here so maybe I see knots laga ke extra yarn ko cut kar rahi but you can always use a tapestry needle and weave in these ends it's totally up to you so now we are almost done so we'll just straighten the circles so this is how it's looking so I've made two and then you can either use this kind of a stud and you can attach it to the top and then after wearing you can just close it and this is how it will look or you can even use these kind of loops or hoop you can call it any one of two you can just open it and just add it at the top and then just close it so then it will be this way तो आप ऐसे लूप या हुप जो भी है ये उसको भी लगा सकते हैं या फिर अगर आपके पास ऐसा नहीं है तो आपके पास कोई भी स्टड तो होगा तो आप किसी भी स्टड को लगा सकते हैं चाहे बड़ा छोटा जैसे आपको दिल करे उस हिसाब से सो आई होप आपको ट्यूटोरियल अच्छा लगा होगा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग कीप क्रोशिंग स्टे सेफ बी हैप्पी बाय बाय